and welcome to day 27 of now the 100 day mindfulness challenge. I hope you're well, I hope um, things are going good for you and, and you're managing to stay at home, stay safe, save lives, but importantly, um, start to cultivate this mindset. And, I, and I, <clears throat> it was interesting, um, as some of you may know, there's two tracks to me. There's a spirituality, which is mindfulness, connection with self, connection with the world, and there's spiritualism, which is my belief system to work with spirit and energy in the world and and and, and up people upstairs, okay? Um, but importantly, I'm, I'm in the spirituality, but the two blend, and one of the things that I have is I'm an empath, which basically means, if you don't know what that means, is... I am somebody who was a it was a sensitive, so I I pick up a lot on energy. I I work a lot with energy. I pick up a lot of energy, things like the moon cycles and solar flares and all of these things really can affect me, and it can affect many of you too. Um, and I would have thought a lot of people who are watching this video now will be watching it because that's the type of person that you are, and that's fantastic. But we have bad days. Now, yesterday was a difficult day, all right? So that is Tuesday, the 14th of April, 2020. Now, it wasn't a difficult day for anything, really, because all of the days have been the days and everything sort of meandered and blended and into one. You know, how many people know what day it is today? It's, it is Wednesday, I think. Um, I know it's Wednesday because I'm doing something this evening. Uh, uh, but... Yesterday was a bad day. And what I mean by a bad day, I just felt the energy plummet. I felt the energy drop. I felt that my mind then started to kick in and started to rewrite another narrative. So it's like, when will this end? Oh my God, is this ever gonna end? There's been this and there's that. And what about this? And then putting the television on and compounding it with this and seeing that. And it was just like, oh, what's going on? You know, I'm trying to stay positive, but it's really difficult. And it's difficult times, and it's this. And my energy just... Oof. <coughs> and what's interesting is, so have a lot of other people's. Yesterday was a difficult day, even though we started the day with the best meditation we could. And a lot of helped a lot of people. I've had the emails for it. But yesterday was a difficult day. I think a lot of that was to do with the Earth's energy just fell. Okay. We're all trying to stay on top, and it fell. But today, I feel completely different. Today, I feel like I could take on the world, okay? Um, which is great, and today's the first day I've, you know, come downstairs and I've got fully dressed. Not that I sit here half naked, by the way. Um, that would be a dreadful thought for some of you. Um, but, you know, I've got dressed, I've, I've got a business meeting, I'm gonna go meet somebody. Um, to do with the woods and stuff like that. So, so I'm I'm out today um, in isolation, but we're social distancing, so we're not doing anything stupid. But um, I have to go to work. But you know, yesterday was a bad day. Now we all have days like this where something just doesn't seem to sit right. Something doesn't seem to be going our way, or you feel slightly under the weather, or emotionally down, or exhausted, or overwhelmed by the world or responsibilities around us and labeling the day as a bad day may feel right but it's often very inaccurate no day is 100 percent bad and i've talked about this before that there's almost good in something we can recognize something good from the day and it's not all bad and actually those bad thoughts or that bad 10 minutes or that bad feeling of energy can affect our whole day 24 hours of it so if we're having a bad 10 minutes which is like i don't even know what that is it's a fraction of our day but we let it to affect the whole day so you know energy is a, is a funny thing because we haven't talked about that but when there's an energy drop or when you feel it, you do the same thing. You just drop into your awareness and say, oh, doesn't feel right. What's that? And you become aware of it. And you can train your mind to recognize both good and bad days, but also recognize and be aware of an energy drop or feeling slightly under the weather or feeling as if 
you know, something's not quite right. And helping you see clearly like this will allow you to see and be aware that our mind paints a very difficult picture when sometimes things around us don't seem to be going right. And that there are pleasant and enjoyable moments during the day and in all days. And, um, you know, we want to be in the moments from moment to moment, breath to breath. And when you do have these moments or emotions, you can respond with compassion and, and basically rewrite the story of the day. It's difficult to rewrite energy because it's a physical thing. So we just sit with it and we understand that this will pass and we watch it until it does pass. The practice, you know, of sitting and being and watching works very well in the midst of any situation. There's uh, a story about monks who, you know, had cultivated mindfulness and meditation for many years and the rising, whether that's emotion, energy, whatever, they could just sit in it and, you know, they could have no rising whatsoever. There's a gentleman who, um, uh, who they put brainwaves on to see that he could absolutely stop his brain from thinking. You know, and, and there's lots of things like that. So the practice works for us to be able to identify issues, emotions, energies, and just sit with them and, 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 and witness them and be aware of them and don't attach to them. Just let them in, breathe them and let them go. Be aware of them, raise your awareness. Now, what I'd like you to do is we're gonna we're gonna do a meditation on the back of this, all right? So again, I'd like you to find a quiet place and a, and a few minutes just to sit in silence. And I'm gonna ask you now just to close your eyes and as always, I'm gonna put up a picture. And begin by just as we always do with your eyes closed, just settling into your body. Just taking that deep breath in, holding it for two seconds and letting it go. Just feel yourself sitting still. Feel the connection of your body with the chair or with the cushion. And feel the movement of the body in relating to your breathing, your breath. Now bring to mind something difficult you've experienced yesterday or something you've experienced already today. Use a specific event, a general feeling or whatever arises naturally in your mind. As the feeling of your bad day arises, pay attention to what the experience is like. Notice if there is a, a feeling in the body or a thought process in the mind. I don't want you to start picking that bad day or that bad moment or that bad emotion apart. Instead, tune into the overall experience. An emotion. Just breathe. Feel the love for yourself and feel the love rising. Ask yourself now, how does it feel? How do you feel to be having a tough time today or yesterday? But do it with awareness of how this feels. And begin offering yourself some of that loving kindness, some of that compassion. Retain some of the awareness of the experience in the mind and the body. But you can, you can, you can silently, very quietly offer some of these phrases that I'm going to give you. I want you to say to yourself, and whether it's a difficulty, a discomfort, a suffering or an energy, say, this is a moment of pain. 
or difficulty or discomfort or suffering. And may I tend to this discomfort with caring awareness. This is a moment of discomfort or suffering. Whatever you felt yesterday, put it in there. This is a moment of. And when you've put that label there, say to yourself, may I tend to this with caring awareness. And just repeat that those phrases for a few moments. This is a moment of label it and then may I tend to this with caring awareness I'll leave you to that for a moment This is a moment of difficulty, discomfort or suffering. And may I tend to this dif difficulty, discomfort or suffering with caring awareness. And just keep reiterating these phrases, repeating with your breath. This is a moment of difficulty, discomfort or suffering as you bring that experience to your mind. But then we hold it and we say, may I tend to this difficulty, discomfort or suffering with caring awareness. Now you've offered compassion to yourself. You've held that difficult situation, the discomfort, the energy drop or suffering, and you've held it and you've tended to it with caring awareness. Now we can let go of these phrases. We can let go of the difficulty, the discomfort or suffering. And what I'd like you to do is bring something to mind that has brought you joy or contentment today? What's made you feel happy? What's made you feel good today or yesterday? And see if you can find a moment in which you weren't enveloped by the discomfort of pain, encapsulated by the discomfort, pain or situation or difficulty. See if you can find that moment where you didn't feel those feelings. It may be when you first woke up. It may be you had a nice conversation with a friend or, or if you're still working on the front line, God bless you, an essential worker with a co-worker. Or the time you were eating lunch and not focused on some of these situations, difficulties, discomfort or suffering. As something comes to mind, I just want you to connect with how that experience felt. And recognize that you may be having, or may have had a difficult day, a hard day, but here is a moment of freedom from that pain you felt. And just bring that thought or that feeling or that experience to mind and offer this simple phrase. May I appreciate this moment. Bringing that experience to your mind, just offer yourself this phrase, may I appreciate this moment. And continue bringing to mind other times in which you may have experienced some happiness during your day. 
as each one comes up, sit with it for a few deep breaths and repeat this phrase, may I appreciate this moment. And maybe you don't have that many enjoyable experiences from today or yesterday, but then look for the neutral moments in your day. Where did you just sit and just feel neutral? Nothing. And just feel those moments. You see, your day wasn't all bad. Your day isn't all bad. And as you finish, I just want you to reflect for a moment on the whole of your day. And without denying your own experience of having a bad day, recognise that the entire day wasn't unpleasant. And actually tune into the fact that for many moments during your labelled bad day, they were pleasant or in fact neutral. And the ability to create loving kindness and awareness for those moments, understanding that they are fleeting times in 24 hours, and that we can hold these discomfort, suffering or difficulty with a caring awareness, with a loving awareness, with compassion for yourself and know that this will pass. We can sit and be and breathe. Take a deep breath in, hold it for two seconds and breathe out. I have my spiritual space door open and there's a beautiful bird you could probably hear. Just being in the moment as he's flown away for his day. Take a deep breath in, hold it for two seconds and just breathe out. And in doing so, I want you to bring your awareness back to the room. Open your eyes, wiggle your fingers and come back. So you see, we label a lot of things and the ability just to allow some of the difficulties or discomforts or suffering or pain or whatever it is, and just come back to being with awareness of it, but not adding further mental narrative or further emotions or further thoughts to it is really important. We all have moments. But we need to appreciate the good times. And I think with everything that's going on at the moment with the coronavirus, etc., that appreciation of the good moments will really help us. I watched a TV program about a football club, a soccer club, that obviously my background and my past, it would, watched it with interest. And to see groups of people cheering and hugging and, and celebrating sport in a crowd was so refreshing, but also so wondering when these days will return and and I'm glad that I could allow those moments to come and go because I know one day we will all be able to come together. It's just a matter of time. Stay safe. Stay home. Keep your immune system up. And put your hand on your heart today and say, Good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Thank you very much for watching. 
day 27 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Please, if you can, comment below, um, subscribe. It'd be great if we could share this. Can we get this out to more people? How can we start a little campaign amongst ourselves to share this? Can you go in your feeds and post about it if it's helped you, if whatever way? Because I would really like to be able to scale this for no other reason but to help other people. So your maybe gift today is to try and help others by showing them, introduce somebody you know. Let's, you know, let's start a campaign, each one reach one. And let's see whether we can really amplify these messages to allow people in these difficult circumstances to find some, some solitude, some, some moments of being, of mindfulness. Thank you very much for watching. Each one reach one. See if you can bring someone along with you tomorrow. Take care. Day 27.